3D printing, are we able to make money off of it? Let's talk about it in this video. Hello, I'm Bruno Boas, co-founder of STLflix, but before STLflix, I co-founded Cassency, a company that focused on 3D printed original design products for the home. Our flagship collection was the Bob Vase Collection, a series of playful and contemporary vases that became so popular, they were even featured on 2020's edition of Big Brother Brazil. Over the years, we sold more than 50,000 units in Brazil and in the US. Thanks to 3D printed, we operated with virtually no inventory and the cost of launching new products allowed us to constantly innovate and keep our customers engaged. But while we capitalized on the agility and uniqueness of 3D printing, we did not explore one of its most powerful advantages, customization. This brings up today's topic. Is buying a 3D printer worth it to start a business or if you already have one? Can you turn that into a successful venture? Let's dive into the advantages, challenges and opportunities of 3D printing entrepreneurship. When starting a business, you can choose two main paths. service -based work and this involves offering skills that others might not have like 3d modeling or custom painting it's a simpler way to start but it's limited to the hours that you can work or alternatively you can do a product based business here you can create products and scale them and with 3d printing you can start small selling one unit at a time and grow into something much much bigger at CASAC we follow the product path leveraging 3d printing to design and sell creative products but how does customization fits into this my business partner Lincoln he created this laser engraved box that you could customize messages, creating unique boxes that you can gift for your significant other. And inside the 3D printing, we have the excellent example of Lumilua. Lumilua is a 3D printed moon lamp featuring a little faint technique that embeds a photo into the lamp's surface. Customers upload their photos and add a personalized message, creating a completely unique product. And here's why it's so successful. It sells for 190 reais, that's approximately $35, with production costs that should range around 20 reais or $3.50 and it's made to order so there's no inventory risk. Its customization creates emotional value making it perfect for gifts and numbers don't lie. With over 138,000 Instagram followers and a verified presence on Mercado Livre, a leading marketplace platform in Latin America similar to eBay, it's clear that this product resonates really well with the audience. So let's talk about the advantages of 3D printing. The first one, on-demand production. 3D printing allows you to sell products without holding inventory. List hundreds of different products on platforms like Amazon, Etsy, Mercado Livre and print them only after you sell them. Another incredible feature is the unlimited design possibilities. With one 3D printer, you can prototype or manufacture items, unique shapes, materials that traditional methods just cannot replicate. Filaments can be flexible materials or even this bicolor, which is an STL flex filament, by the way, that allows you to create unique surfaces and textures that stands out in the market and cannot be reproduced by any other form of manufacturing in the world. Also, it opens up content opportunities. Each print can become an engaging content for social media. I'm pretty sure that you already saw time lapses of videos that often go viral, driving attention to your businesses. Click on the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can keep on creating content like this. And now let's talk a little bit about the challenges of 3D printing. The first one, scaling up. While great for small orders, 3D printing struggles with high volumes. At Casa Z, when the Bob vases went to the Big Brother Brazil, I had a very hard time to scale my productions. I had to get loans from banks in order to scale up my productions by purchasing more printers in order to fulfill all the orders that were coming in, ultimately making this business not very profitable in the end of the day. Another very important topic is the learning curve. It does take time for you to master 3D printing, but tools like the SL Academy Print Like a Pro course can shorten this curve. With the right guidance, you can start manufacturing sellable items in just a few weeks. Another very important aspect is the competitive marketplaces. Platforms like Amazon, Etsy, eBay, they are crowded, so success require more niche products or added value like designs or services with painting, customization, things that we mentioned in this video. So to wrap it up, buying a 3D printer is a guaranteed path to wealth? Obviously not. It's not a franchise, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme, but if you're willing to innovate and build a real business, 3D printing can be a powerful tool for creating unique and scalable products. If you're ready to explore this opportunity and you want to move ahead, we have the STL Academy courses like the Print Like a Pro and the Zero Revenue Method that are a fast track to your journey into 3D printing entrepreneurship. Let us know in the comments below what topics you'd like to cover next. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights on 3D printing and entrepreneurship. See you next time.